Well, guys, I hate to break this to you, but spinach is the absolute worst source of iron. And I know you've been watching Hop Out the Sailor Man and all this canned spinach is going to make you really, really strong because of the iron, when in fact, it's not going to do that. There's two sources of iron. There is heme iron and there is non-heme iron. Non-heme iron is in plants. It has a low bioavailability. In other words, it doesn't absorb that well. So if you have a certain amount of iron in spinach, if you're lucky, you're going to only absorb 1.4% of that amount of iron. So you're going to need to eat 10 times more spinach to get the same amount of iron you would get if you consumed something that gave you heme iron, which is from animal products. The bioavailability with heme iron is 20%. But the problem is even if you were to consume a lot more, there's some other reasons why your body is not going to be able to use that iron. Spinach, and by the way, Swiss chard, have extremely high amounts of oxalates, okay? Oxalates bind with the iron as well as calcium, making iron almost entirely unavailable to you. So not only do we have a non-heme source of iron, which is very poor with the absorption rate, but we also have this oxalate right here. Don't worry, it gets worse. Also plants, including spinach, are very high in polyphenols, which also block the absorption of iron. Now you might say, well, I'm going to get my iron from beans or legumes or seeds or nuts or grains, right? Well, the problem with that is they contain phytates, which block iron, zinc, calcium, and other minerals. So I have nothing against spinach or Swiss chard. I think they're great vegetables, as long as you're not pre-exposed to uh, kidney stones or you have a sensitivity to oxalates. And you can even steam it to reduce the oxalates. And sometimes someone might say that, well, the spinach also has a lot of vitamin C. It's gonna help me absorb the iron. Well, if you steam it to lower the amount of oxalates, you also kill off a great majority of the vitamin C, thereby not allowing you to get the benefits of that extra absorption. But spinach and Swiss chard have additional health benefits for sure, but not in the area of iron. So what does have the best source of heme iron? Number one, clams, then liver, kidney, and other organ meats. Oysters, octopus, mussels, red meat, fish, especially fatty fish, and eggs. And as a last point, if you consume plants with these animal products that have heme iron, that alone will increase the absorption of iron in the spinach or plants. All right, thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you wanna know how to begin keto, or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the US. Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.